limits of size rule one. Now there has been some changes in rule one. Let me explain this a little bit. What we have is, is we have a part here and we have features without size and features with size. And you remember features without size surfaces. Features with size would be like a hole, a slot, a tab, a pin, things like this. We used to call these features of size. And now what we have is, is we have a clarification. We clarified these things a little bit now. We call them regular features of size. Now you say regular feature of size because what we have is, is regular features of size. We introduce something new in the new standard. They're called irregular features of size. And irregular features of size would be something like a hex or something like a square. Then we have a hex or maybe a D-shaped hole. Or else what we could have is, is we could have a, a taper or we could have some type of uh, contoured shape to be used as a datum feature. So that's been added. So instead of just having just a hole, a slot, a pin, a tab, now what they say is a feature size can be anything that contain or be contained within an actual mating envelope. Now let me add just a little bit of a review because it'll help you a little bit. You remember limits of size rule one, nothing new on that. We want this pin to go inside of the hole, so we have this rule. We have a pin and we have a hole. So taking a look at that, we have uh, here's your pin and here's your hole. And you remember what it is, is we have that rule that says when you define size, it automatically controls the form. So this pin, for example, at 874, the form has to be perfect. Right? And the same thing with a hole, a form has to be perfect. So the smallest this hole can get is 875, the largest this pin can get is 874. Now there's also a requirement for any cross-sectional check we take across there, the least material across has to fall within the lower limit, as long as it meets those requirements good. And then we clarify that again in the Y1451 standard that really clarified it in order to verify it. It really requires, there's two values there. There's one that we call the mating envelope, which we used to call mating size, and now we have the local size. And Y1451 says that you drag a sphere through it, no part of the sphere can exit the material. So there's really two values to record, right? The local size and what we call is a mating envelope. Now, in the past, if we wanted to relax those form provisions of Rule 1, you remember how we did it. What we could do is, is we could put straightness of an axis. That will relax the form provisions of Rule 1. Now, there's another way to be able to do it if you had a, not rather than a round part, but a, something that was a flat part. Then you could use flatness of a median plane. Now, this is something new that's in the 2009 standard. I'm going to explain this a little bit later, how that works. It's replacing straightness. So those were two ways you could do it. Now what we've done in the 2009 stand, we've added another method, and you could uh, apply the principle of independency. So let me talk about the principle of independency. That's new for the 2009 standard, and what it is, circle I. And when you uh, put a circle I next to it, it states that the size and form required are independent. So remember a little while ago that I showed you uh, we had the local size and the mating envelope? Well, if you put the circle I, what it does is, is it eliminates the mating envelope. We're not looking at form anymore. All we have is a local size, and that just checks spherical cross-sections. So now the form is not controlled. So this here is usually not recommended. I recommend it be careful with using that because now you have no form control. This is a concept that might be used for web thickness or something like that, uh, if you're interested in that, where you're not interested in the form. Now where that came from is, is there was an ISO principle of independency. And that principle of independency you can find in ISO 8015. So if there are any engineering drawings from ISO and they listed that near the title block, that means this principle of independency applied. Now what form did they have on them? Form wasn't controlled. You also had to add another number next to the title block, 2768, there's part one and two. And it was general tolerances and general geometric tolerances. And then what they did is they told you what the form was, or else what you'd have to do is apply these form tolerances. In ISO, if you wanted to invoke the envelope principle, then you put a circle E, and then you got back what we have here in the US uh, ASME standard. So what this uh, rule one does is preserves the functional requirements. Now, here's another thing, uh, limits of size. This should be nothing new, it should be a review for you. You know that when you call off the limits of size, for example, on this rectangular plate, I call off this one, the maximum diameter is 1498 plus two. This one is uh, 1.998 plus two. Will it fit inside of this hole? And no, it will not. And why it does not is because 
rule one does not control the relationship between features. So what you would have to do is you can see that part what might not fit in because it's not checked. Now, in order to avoid incomplete requirements, what we've said is, is you had to relate those features. And you could do it in a variety of different ways, as you know from our standard. One way you could do is, is apply a profile tolerance, like I did down here. Now, once we apply a profile tolerance, you notice what this feature is related now. It has boundaries, and now this could be termed an irregular feature of size. And you could use that as an irregular feature of size. In fact, uh, when you get to uh, unit six, you'll find out we have a table of uh, uh, degrees of freedom that will show some of these features. And you can use any feature as a datum feature now. So you can use these. And that's going to be coming up more, just warming you up here for what you're going to see in unit six.